Climate change has become one of the major issues affecting the agricultural industry. The effects of climate change on rice production in Malaysia have become a major focus among researchers and policy makers. Mardi has developed several adaptation and mitigation strategies to effectively manage potential climate risks. This is what we do. National Rice Gym Bank is located in Madi Sebrang Prai, conserve 13,202 accession of rice. The Gym Bank is a source of rice genetic resources for research and rice development program. In the past five years, five rice accession have been identified as tolerant varieties for climate change. These varieties show similarities on phenotypic characteristics with control varieties and also carrying drought grain yield QTL. MIQ76 is identified as drought tolerant variety carrying three QTLs, namely QDTY 3.2, QDTY 11.1, and QDTY 2.3. This variety also show good performance on grain yield production. Thus, MIQ76 is one of the potential drought tolerant variety for climate change. Recent studies at Mardi Sebang Prai and Mardi Sedang has improved local rice variety by crossing drought tolerance donors from traditional varieties such as bandana and moroberican. This facilitates the transfer of some QDTY genes into high yielding popular varieties in Malaysia, Mardi Siraj 297, to develop F1 progeny. This will further analyze at CMTV in Sedang. The developed back cross progenies were selected through genotyping for the presence of QTL related to the yield under drought stress. The progenies harboring the QTL and show the highest genome similarities to the recurrent parent were selected to back cross to the recurrent parent in order to speed up the genome recovery of the recurrent parent in the breeding line. This effective genotyping approach can be highly beneficial in rapid and precise selection for developing drought-tolerant rice variety for future food sustainability. Development and screening of this population under drought condition was carried out up to BC3 FN generation in order to get rid of the unwanted traits from the donor parents. Therefore, the potential variety that has been identified will be further tested. We are developing water saving techniques as an adaptation and mitigation strategy for climate change in rice production system. We aim to reduce the impact of water scarcity in the future and to reduce greenhouse gases emission as well. Besides alternate wetting and drying technique, we found that maintaining soil at saturated condition is also effective to reduce methane emission by reducing anaerobic condition in the soil. Soil is maintained uh, at saturated condition and re-irrigated only when the water level reaches 15 cm below soil surface or soil water potential reaches minus 15 kPa. This technique maintains adequate soil moisture at root zone to support plant physiological performances, growth and high yield. This is an effective adaptation strategy for climate change by saving 15 to 35% of water input, mitigating 30 to 55% of greenhouse gases, and maintaining high rice green yields at 6 to 7 ton per hectare. So these are the three strategies to address climate change. There are a few more researchers in the pipeline, including precision farming, organic farming, and smart fertilization. Climate change has become one of the major issues of our time. Together, we will embrace, adopt and adapt and hope for a better future.